Hey there, my name is Logan Reynolds. I'm talking all things grip and electric and I want to help you improve your lighting and safety on your film sets. So today is actually, uh, I'm making a video about stingers. This came actually as a comment from Ben Bach, who is my, my buddy here in Portland and an amazing DP. Ben suggested on one of my previous videos that I should make a video on how to wrap a stinger. I thought that was a great idea and by the end of this video I'm going to, to talk about the proper way to wrap these but I feel like there's a bit more to know than just how to wrap it like uh, you should know about the type of cable that it is and also kind of what it's going to look like when it comes off the truck. So here it is all about stingers. In the electrical department we call our extension cords stingers. The term stinger is I'd say the most common term for this in the United States. There is a small uh, sector of like union east coast union work that refers to these as singles i'm going to call it a stinger because i'm on the west coast uh, this is something called 123 s j o o w so let's break down 123 s j o o w 123 is referring to the size of the wire itself this is 12 gauge wire with three conductors inside of it. There's a black, white, and green. Those will be wired to your hot, neutral, and ground. This is called service cord. That's what the S stands for. The J stands for junior. So uh, to get that junior rating, that means that this is able of conducting electricity up to 300 volts. So SJ junior service. The OO, the double O, means it's oil resistant. Basically, this can carry as much voltage as we are accustomed to working with on a film set. It's meant to take some abuse and it's not gonna start to break down. So if you're renting a grip truck, uh, you're probably gonna get a crate of stingers that comes in a milk crate, looks something like this. Normal crate's gonna have what is referred to as four and four. If you ever hear that term, that means there's 450s and 425s. So a crate should have 300 feet of cable there's always going to be sash attached to at least one end, if not both, and that is going to give you something to tie it together with after you have it wrapped, and it'll hold this nice circle shape. Some rental houses will have a color coding. The color coding is not completely universal, but I've chosen to color code my personal crate. Yellow, representing 25, and I have red, representing 50. Definitely get to know the gear on the truck that you're working with that day because it might be different. Put them in the crate so that the laces are sticking up. So as you're going through, you're counting the laces on the colors as opposed to if they're all laces facing down or to the side, you just have a coil of cables and you don't really know what's what. Let's get to wrapping. Um, this cable, this entire milk crate came off of a spool of wire and it always wants to go back to that circular shape. So a couple key points is that you, just like a screw thread, you want to be wrapping your cable righty tighty. Never, you never go to the left. You always are wrapping this over, over to the right. So basically I'll take one end with the laces. I'm probably usually starting with the male, but it's not necessary. And um, basically, I'll hold that in my left hand and with my right hand, I'll grab a coil of cable and I'll twist it until it, until it just, you can, you'll feel it. It just kind of falls into that nice, neat circle. And again, and again, and you just keep going. And eventually you, it just becomes muscle memory and you can just kind of whip it into place. If it's fighting you, you're doing something wrong because it, the cable wants to go back into this shape. And there we go. One more time. Really that first coil is kind of like where I set my size. I'll spend like an extra second just making sure that is at the right size. And then just feel, feel the coil, feel where it wants to go. Then you can tie it up and it's ready to go back home. Just a normal shoelace knot on top. An easy way to do it is just put it in your knees, tie it up, and there you go. Now, I feel like this will come up in the comments at some point, so I'm gonna address it right now. But what we did here is called an over-over wrap. And that just means that your cable keeps laying on top of itself. There is another method of wrapping cables called over-under. 
You'll see camera department and sound department wrapping their cables over under. I can even tell you that you might even see other industries wrapping this exact same cable in an over under method. But I'm here to tell you, if you are wrapping stingers on a film set, it goes over over. Doesn't matter where you are. Thanks Ben Bach for coming up with the great idea. Uh, again, go check out his work below. He's an amazing DP. And that's all I got for today. I'll see you next time.